6.30 on a Sunday morning. And I lost an hour of sleep, so I think the end's about 2 o'clock. But I've got a fishing mat, I'm fishing today, so... I'm going to look at the car and uh, I'm going to go fishing and get some breakfast and get to the draw. Uh, just going to go out the lake first and make sure there's no anglers on there on the pegs that we're fishing in the match. And uh, take the gun round and uh, check for cormorants. I winged one yesterday, so... Um, I don't know, we'll, look, we'll unload that tomorrow. I'll leave it to, to pre soak in the rain, rain and I'll unload it tomorrow and look at the damage and assess what we're going to do for next week or, or the future. And uh, of course, Jake's has damage as well, so see how he feels about the situation, what we're, what we're going to do. Right, let's forget about stock cars for a day. I'll go fishing. Well, normally clean the stock cars on a Sunday, but today I'm fishing. I'm fishing a match, 40 pegs on, uh, on my lake, and I'm catching those. And that is number 45, so that's why. I thought I'd keep the camera up. Let's say I've got 45 on worms. That's on worms. Where's the camera? There. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right. Let's see. Uh... An hour left. I'm doing well. About 400 quid for the winner today, so I don't think I'm going to quite win, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not far off. See how it goes. Cool. Monday morning, it's freezing. Uh, right, I've had a sleep on it, and uh, well, I've, I've had a chat with a couple of friends yesterday as well, and, uh, and Jenny, and I think the best thing for me is to give um, give Jake my full attention, so I'm going to give it, I'm going to have a bit of a break, I'm going to uh, not race this weekend for sure, the following weekend is Tarmac and Sheffield, so I'm going to have, I'm going to just have a bit of a break, and just concentrate on Jake, if he wants to do it, if he don't want to do it, then he don't want to do it, and neither of us will do it, but I'm not doing it without him, I'm doing this with Jake, of course, Whilst he's racing, and if he don't want to race, then I won't race. Um, but I won't race anyway, I think. I think that's the best thing for me to just put all methods into him. Uh, Monday morning, so we'll be here in a minute. So uh, I've just seen him arrive. So when he gets here, we'll have a chat and uh, see how he feels about the situation. See what he wants to do. I said I wasn't going to buy a time out of car again. But I'll buy this one. Woohoo, look at that! Beautiful. That's my next car. I'm not buying that one. Come to get a white one. Not for me, for me, Dad. We've had one to one, another one. So, uh, we'll come to pick it up. There's loads here. Loads of Bentleys here. What a place. What a place. Beautiful. Right, let's go and find which one we're buying. Right, a uh, midweek update. And I've decided not to race, race this weekend and uh, put all my efforts into helping Jake. And uh, he's booked in now, so he's racing. And we're just getting his car ready. Um, just sort out of niggly problems. We've had two really, really niggly problem weekends, first two weekends. So uh, that's how part of our teething problems out of the way. And uh, he's really good on little tight tracks. He's one at Mill Norley, he's one at Bellevue. He's really good at turning, you know, he's really good on these little tracks. So I think he'll uh, be in for a, a good weekend. So um, let's hope so. If he does a good weekend, I'll do this vlog. If he doesn't have a good weekend, then why not post this one? <laughs> right, let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't know if you can see the stadium there. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, we're back at the stadium again. Uh, we have a meeting probably, uh, I don't know, three or four times a year. Uh, save Brandon, save Common Stadium campaign group. Uh, we've managed to stop them building houses on here for the time being. It's been shut for six years now, 2016 it's shut. And we've stopped the developers building houses, 139 houses I think it was. Uh, but long term, developers still own it. Basically the developers still own it and um, they're just going to sit on it and sit on it and sit on it. Maybe another... Another six years, another ten years, eventually they're going to get houses, aren't they? That's uh, the way it's looking, I'm afraid. But we're going to keep going. Whilst it's still standing, we'll keep trying. We'll keep having our meetings and a bit more of a social than anything nowadays. And um, see what's on the table, see what's available or possible we can do. Keep trying. There's nothing uh, nothing else for, nothing else to report, I'm afraid. There we go. Uh, so just a quick update. After uh, three hours of chatting about the stadium... It comes down to the um, appeal, which is May the 11th. The uh, developers lost the planning application, of course, on building the 135 or 139 houses, whatever it is. And uh, they've got uh, until May the 11th to appeal, which is only five or six weeks away. So um, we can't really do or know anything until then. So let's wait and see what happens. If they do appeal, um, they could win. Uh, it's all over. It's all over if they if they win the appeal. If they lose the appeal, they could put it on the open market and sell it or offload it. Or sit on it for another five or ten years, five, six, ten years, whatever. They could just sit on it and re, re, all reapply for um, 
a different application that could be applied for 75 hours for example you know so uh, another application so that's where we're at so see what happens in the next few weeks uh, a bit of a score by error this week because um what I normally do, I normally lift the front of the car up with a forklift, but lift the car, out, the car high up in the air to wash underneath. And the back end was trashed last week. So I've lifted the back end up instead of the front end. And um, when you do that, the, the fuel from the fuel tank is higher than the carburetor, and then it runs from the carburetor into the engine and fills all the bores up with petrol. And then uh, we try and start the car afterwards and it won't start. So but take all the spark plugs out and uh, just turn it over and get all the petrol out of the bores. So that was a bit of a pain. And Jake reminded me I did that once before. So uh, at least we know why. Uh, so we're at Northampton tomorrow. So uh, just finishing Jake's car now. I'm not racing, just Jake this weekend. And um, car's nearly ready. Yeah. The driver's breaking. We can't hear a word. We're still at the back here. We can't hear a word. He's just talking quietly. We can't hear a word he's saying. Needs a microphone. It's ridiculous. We've all got a beer. Jake stopped, so I don't know. We're still waiting, and he hasn't come back. So we we'll walk out on track and see uh, see where he is. He's got to be still on track, waiting for a tractor. Uh, not a good start, is it? Of uh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes, right behind me. So here he comes, back of the truck. So not good. Let's go find out what's up. Uh, broken kingpin. Uh, change kingpin. Try and get out the next one. It's all in, all in, 25 cars here, all in each race. Uh, so Jake's is race two now, Jake's uh, race one, he broke the kingpin, so uh, couldn't turn. So, see how it goes again. Bye, Ollie. So, uh, here we go again, race two, see how I get it. Uh, so, we need a good race, we need to finish, we need some enthusiasm and um, uh, some results. So, uh, keep us, keep our enthusiasm up. Come on, Jackie. Uh, Jake broke first lap, so I don't know what's wrong this time. So uh, we're both getting a bit fed up with this now, so let's go and see what uh, see what's happened this time. Oh dear. Uh, so we broke the torque arm and broke the pop again, that's the third time in three weeks now. So um, uh, we're back to the drawing board really with this car and what we're going to do because uh, it's not going too good and Jake's not very happy. So uh, we're doing this sport to enjoy it, so <laughs> I'm not enjoying it right now. Oh, I'll slide it up, go and have a beer. I'll enjoy the beer, lots of a beer. Uh, yeah, actually, the F1s are still on the track. They're trying to repair the fence from the damage they, uh, in that race. But luckily, they've let the damaged cars off the track, and Jake was one of them, of course, so he's come back. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do from here. We've uh, loaded up, we're going to have a beer and uh, watch the final and then go home. Uh, I'm going fishing tomorrow and uh, see how I feel about next week, see what we're going to do. Well, mate, Colin Goodson, how are you getting on? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Broke down in the bus. I've got car racing. Why Broke are we going to do Broke down in the bus coming. Twice. Oh yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've fixed it and got no brakes. Yeah, yeah. We love it, don't we? <laughs> yeah, that's what we keep coming back. Right, finals on. We're going to watch the final and then go. Uh, you might notice Jake's not on this week's video because he's asked me not to do a video because every time I do a video, we have bad luck. Uh, sounds like the rolling, so I'm going to go. Uh, but I'll do a quick video this week and then uh, any more bad luck and I'll stop doing it because he's not. He's getting a bit better than a bit. A bit of a bit. Right, go watch this race. Um, I'll post this video and then um, we we'll think we'll give Sheffield a miss next week and uh, maybe 50-50 about so uh, we've got a good Friday at Skeggy so uh, uh, let's get the car fixed and uh, start again fresh Voila, see ya.
I don't know how to summarise this really. It was rubbish again. It's the third week on the truck we broke a prop on Jake's car. I didn't race tonight to try and put my efforts into Jake and give him my full priority. It didn't make any difference. Might as well race. The track was beautiful as well. I, uh, the track's always beautiful when I decide not to race. Ah, oh, oh well. Um, so, yeah, we broke the, bent the torque arm again and broke the prop on Jake's car again. It's the third week on the truck. Kings Lane and Bradford and Northampton. So we've got something wrong, haven't we? We don't really know, we don't really know what it is. Kim's just said, perhaps chuck my axle under his car, which is my axle, so I'm falling, can try that. Well, some back axle and try my axle. So we might try that. Uh, we'll discuss it Monday morning. I'm going fishing tomorrow, so... I'm sorry if I repeat myself because I do this over over the whole week. This blog, so and loads of comments tonight. Thanks, loads. Of, I've met loads of people tonight that said I love your blog. So that's the that's the reason I keep doing it. Jake doesn't want me to do a blog this week because he thinks he's bringing bad luck. But uh, I'm sorry, Jake. It, it's brought us bad luck again, mate, hasn't it? Really, by doing it again. So, um, uh, mate, mate, I don't know. I, don't know. I keep saying I won't do it for him, but I'm sorry, mate. I enjoy doing the blogs, and people enjoy the blogs. So I, I, that's why I keep doing it. Uh, so again, not me, not just me that's been, uh, not just me that's been having bad luck. Uh, I'll see another red top superstar, the clutch and gearbox and bad hours again tonight. So it's not just me, it's just me that's being honest and tells everyone the truth. Anyway, we're all getting out of the coach. We're uh, we're all back in the, we're all back in the yard. So we're we'll just waiting for everyone to come and come and uh, get sorted, get back in the cars, and go home. Try again next week. <laughs>